It is not uncommon for people or pesticide companies to place rodent bait around your home or farm or out at the lake, potentially. This can be very toxic to our small animals as well. Small animals are a lot like toddlers. They can find it anywhere, under the house, under the dishwasher. So we very much caution individuals for putting these types of toxins anywhere in their household if you do have cats or dogs. Rodenticide intoxication can be based around three common toxins that are present in these substances. So our most common that is out there is what we call a vitamin K antagonist or an anticoagulant type of toxin. Anticoagulant rodenticide can be readily identified and treated with early identification and treatment. If your pet has ingested an anticoagulant toxin, the good news is it is readily treatable. In early stages in patients that have no clinical signs, the treatment is simply monitoring and checking their clotting times, which is a test that can be performed here in the emergency hospital, and then starting them on vitamin K. So simply giving them a vitamin at home for about 30 days can protect them from any complications associated with this toxin. The good news is, even if your pet is sick from this type of illness, we can still treat it. Anticoagulant toxins cause a pet to have bleeding. They can have bleeding into their lungs, into their joints, into their abdomen, or simply bruising on their skin. So depending on the severity of the clinical symptoms that your pet are showing, we can admit your pet to the ICU, but these patients have a great prognosis and often will do really well. Unfortunately, as companies have developed newer rodenticides, they have developed more aggressive and more toxic ingredients. The two most common newer toxins are cholecalciferol, which is vitamin D, and bromethalin, which is a neurologic toxin. Both of these can be much more challenging to treat once a patient has clinical symptoms. If you suspect that your pet may have gotten into any version of rodenticide, please come in immediately. Bring with you the packaging so that we can utilize that to identify what version of toxin your pet may have gotten into. The earlier you know or suspicious that your pet may have ingested a toxin, it's best to come into the emergency room so that we can help implement treatment as soon as possible.